Oh, well, it's done it there. It's done it. You see it? Yeah. 0 well, I got this Chinese tool not long back, but it didn't come with a battery. You know, it's a 12 volt battery, believe it or not. Anyway, it's a current draw tester, which is dead handy. Instead of using a millivolt measurement across the fuses, I can actually leave this plugged in, and I'll show you that in a minute. I've got an issue on this old Z3, Z4, sorry. It's a pain in the ass. The instrument cluster every now and then, literally like every like 20 minutes or so, it loses power and it kind of, it goes off like that and then comes back on on its own. Now, you might think it's easy, but it does it in such a split second, it's a pain in the ass. Now, it gives a fault code for the K bus. Anyway, this now, as you as you saw from the previous image, it dropped about 0.12 out of an amp when it sort of, you know, started going tits up. So this is a pissing brilliant diagnostic tool to, you know, to check for current draw from individual circuits. And it's actually the Terminal 30 fuse. It says it's Terminal 15, but it seems like it's Terminal 30. So this is a great tool for, for checking for like intermittent, like current dropouts. The other alternative is you go to the fuse down there and get a voltmeter on, but it happens in literally like a millisecond. This is picking it up faster than a voltmeter, so yeah, great tool. Right, so we're getting down to this brass tax now. We've actually pulled our device out and therefore we've pulled out the fuse. There's three fuses for the instrument cluster, but we've actually pulled out only one and left the two behind. But check this out, we've still got the Terminal 30 permanent battery life, but check this out. That's the fault, that's what's actually happening. So, because we've no fusing, we've got no power supply. Unlock. And it's making that weird noise as well. So we've cracked it. We've basically, we've cracked it. So the gauge worked, but momentarily, because there's no fusing, let, let it drop out a minute. There, that's the issue. That flickering, you know, when it drops off like that, the fuel gauge. If you watch the fuel gauge drop off now. There, drops off and it makes a weird buzzing noise. 